What up everybody and welcome back to H2O Co. Film and Photo. Uh, today we're doing a review on a, I think I'm pronouncing this right, Yay CCC Cinerig. Uh, it's the mat box, the shoulder mount, the follow focus, the cage, and the handles. Um, I got it off YouTube for about $130 I think after taxes and everything. It was on sale. It was normally a little bit more pricey than that. They uh, have a couple different versions of it on YouTube or YouTube on uh, Amazon. They don't have very many that have the entire package that comes with the follow focus as well. A lot of them that I saw, they strictly had uh, just a matte box with the follow focus, or it would be the cage with the shoulder mount and the matte box or it would be the mat box and the shoulder mount but not the follow focus or the cage so there were a whole bunch of variations um, this one had the whole package it was more expensive uh, it's very similar to the newer name brand but I think these ones are more durably built because these uh, as opposed to the newer brand which from what I've read on their site on um, Amazon is it's mostly ABS plastic this is an aluminum alloy pretty much for the entire construction of it, all except for the handle grips, which are ABS plastic, and then obviously the shoulder pad, which is some kind of a foam. Um, but yeah, the follow focus is particularly well built. It's very smooth. The gearbox is fully adjustable, so if you're trying to fit a different lens, whichever lens you were wanting to use, it should be adjustable to fit on there. And as far as accessory mounts go, this thing is overkill loaded. I've gotten right here a cold shoe mount for a mic. I got another cold shoe mount over here for my lighting. I'm going to have a third one when I do uh, use this to film my short film with coming up in October, which by the way will be on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to use that to hold my field monitor on there. So it is um, pretty, pretty durable. Uh, once I assembled it, it was sturdy. I haven't had any rattles or any loose parts or anything like that. Um, now the mat box is not the nicest of mat boxes you can get. Some of the more higher end mat boxes I've noticed have two different features that this one does not have. A slot for an ND filter. This one does not have it so if you're going to use a filter you're going to have to rely on your lens filter kits usually. Um, also it does not have the cloth uh, padding that goes between the matte box and the lens depending on your focal length here you're gonna get a little bit of light leak right in here um, I'm just gonna have my mother-in-law sewing up for me real quick because they're easy to make but uh, the other higher-end matte boxes that I've seen on the market they they have those built in whereas this one does not um, as far as sturdiness goes though it's uh, pretty pretty damn well constructed um, I've been happy with it it's supposed to stabilize your footage and uh, ref keep out light reflections. Now, there's a total of five handles on it with three different versatile positionings where you can either throw it over your shoulder like a Cinerig. You can hold it by the cage right here with these ergonomic, I guess that's how you pronounce the word, handle grips right here, which is pretty neat. Or you can do lower end shots, lower angles, with just the top handle letting gravity do its job. Um, I'm going to go to the park here around the corner from my house and do a little stability test for you guys to see here in a second. It is almost 2 in the morning though out here, so it's uh, going to be dark. Sorry about if it's dark footage. And disclaimer, by no means am I a professional camera operator. I'm learning, but I've heard there are certain techniques and uh, ways to try to get smoother footage and I guess pros would know that. I don't yet, I'm learning, so I'm just going to say screw it and just standard walk through this terrain. Uh, it has some hills and stuff at the park so it's not really level terrain and you'll get an idea of how stable the rig actually is. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get out of here, go do that test. Alrighty everybody, well, here we are doing a stabilization test. Uh, I'm at the local park in my neighborhood and it's pretty late. It's like midnight, one in the morning. I've already had somebody come up to me, uh, start talking to me right in the middle of my video here. So, oh, who knows? Interesting stuff happens all the time. We'll see. 
But, uh, alright, so I'm out here at the park. Uh, I've got a slight incline over here. Uh, it's sorry if it's too dark out to see a lot of stuff. I didn't think about switching out my lenses before I left the house, so I'm running a, uh, I think, uh, 55 to 85 or 18 to 55 mil. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm running right now. But, uh, anyways, so this terrain's not the most even. Um, yeah, there's some hills and rocks and stuff, so I'm gonna just pretty much walk around for a second and then I'm gonna follow up onto the concrete up here and uh, transition from the not so good terrain back to some decent level terrain and uh, see what kind of stabilization we get with the shoulder rig at least. So, here we go. Alrighty, and then uh, I'll go ahead and transition here real quick to a top handle uh, movement for like, I guess, low shots to the ground. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and remember, by no, I am by no means uh, a cameraman or camera operator. Uh, well, I'm trying to be, but I'm not experienced at it yet, so uh, I'm learning. But uh, So here we go with the, the low level test, I guess you'd call it. And that's just, again, that's just having it sit down on a just grabbing it by the top handle and letting gravity pretty much do its thing. So, um, yeah, that's a live demonstration for you guys. Oh, all right, let's get back to the house. All right, we're back. Oh, it was cold out there. I don't know about you guys, but I'm from Arizona and anything below 70 degrees, it's like, I can't handle it. It's like, I think, 50-something degrees outside right now. So, <clears throat> it's a little bit chilly out there. Plus, I guess, having homeless people walk up to you in the middle of you filming and trying to accommodate them <laughs> with their questions is kind of annoying. All sorts of surprises out here in Arizona, you know. But anyways, so that was pretty much the footage that I was capable of getting just walking around. Like I said before, I am no cameraman by any means, but uh, those were the two angles. You had the low shot and then you had the uh, just over the shoulder shot right there. So um, it's pretty much up to you to decide. Now, I was going to do an assembly video, but I didn't know if that would be something anybody would want to see. When I pulled it out of the packaging, the instructions were fairly useless. Uh, and even on the website on Amazon, the photos they have of the product assembled, I feel like they have different variations of assembly in each photo. So like some photos you'd see that the handlebars were placed before the map box and then other photos at a different angle you'd see that the map box was placed in front of the handlebars. So I don't know what that was about but they ended up being very useless instructions and I just set them aside and used my common sense to put the thing together. It took me about 10 minutes. Um, I did end up with two rails that I have no clue where they go. Uh, they don't seem to serve any function, but uh, it's nice to have extras, I guess. Um, 
so yeah, just go ahead and comment below if you want to see that assembly video, and I'll go ahead and put that out there, because I did not see any on YouTube. I couldn't find anything about this uh, product. Now, uh, it is a lot like the newer I said, and I don't know if I was pronouncing it right, but it is the YAE, which I think says EA, CCC Cinema Rig. And my review is that it's pretty cool, it's pretty awesome. Uh, for somebody who, if we're being practical, not everybody starting off has the, the funds to go out and get a Ronin S you know, gimbal. They run about $800, and if you're trying to do any kind of cinema short film, video production, or tell any story visually other than, I guess, just vlogging like what this is right here, you're going to want to have some kind of a stabilizer. You're going to want to have um, you know, a steady cam or something of that nature. And, this is a really good tool to have in your arsenal, I feel like, and uh, definitely going to be utilizing it until I can afford my Ronin. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like I said, my review is good. So if you found this video at all useful, go ahead and click subscribe for future content that I'll be releasing. And uh, thanks. Leave your comments in the section below. Have a great day and stay creative, guys.